it was worth the pizza just for this moustache my god i feel like such a vlogger right now i have this like crazy contraption thing that is holding this what is this a tripod ah! yay i am at pick and save because you pick and you save stuff and i'm going to pick up pizzas. Justin, he's like, home run in pizza's the best. And I'm like, but DiGiorno's freaking awesome and it's not even delivery. And so he tried DiGiorno and he's like, oh, that was actually pretty good because that's his voice. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a side-by-side -side taste test tonight. Yes. Rawr. Rawr. They didn't have home run pizza. So I got this because it has a mustache in the bag that is a cutout. And I felt like this was an accurate representation of how amazing this pizza's going to be. Mm. That's why I did get DiGiorno. And they're both supreme because it is a supreme day to be eating pizza. Time to answer your guys' questions for the vlog. Yay, Rawr! Ugh. Yeah! Hey guys! Kat here, and I'm going to be answering your Q&A questions. Let's do this! I'm excited. Okay, but firstly, I want to thank you guys so much for all of your support. It is crazy how many comments I got about, like, my life change and... I just want to say thank you so much. Like, that means a ton. I just mentioned my video and I was not expecting it to turn that route in the comments, but I love it. You guys are amazing, so thank you. Yay! All right, so let's get started. All right, so Rodrigo Herrera, excuse my Asian Herrera, rawr, asked, um, when he works out with me, he usually pairs the videos. Is that over training? It really is going to depend on your training for the rest of the week, which videos you pair with. So if you're doing, like, two 60 minute videos of mine that might be a little bit too much but if you're doing like a 30 minute upper body and then a 30 minute lower body workout that's not going to be overtraining. it also depends on your fitness level for me personally i could probably do like two 30 minute videos and be like good for the day someone starting out might try like one video and that might be good for them it's really going to depend on you and listening to your body you gotta listen to the overtraining signals can you still lift as much weight? Can you still go as hard as you can? Are, is your sleep good? Are you feeling good? Are you achy? You know, I gotta listen to all of that. This is a really, it's really cool about exercise because you really get to learn your body because you kind of have to. So yeah, hope that answers your question. Is there a smear on this? Clean it. Okay, next question. Next question is from Carrie Bonnie, which is a very cute name, I love it. What do you do on a day where you regularly work out but you really don't feel like it that day? I actually had a day like this recently, I believe it was the same day that I posted this video and Carrie commented, so that was kind of funny. On those days, first I stop and I'm like, okay, do I need an extra rest day for this week or have I taken one for a while? And if I haven't, or if my body's just like, cat, slow down, you're crazy, um, then I will take a rest. I'll take an extra rest day if I need it, if that's what my body needs, because exercise isn't meant to like torture you and make you dread it and hate it. It's meant to make you stronger and make you excited and also to help you with your daily activities, you know? But on that specific day, I still felt like I could do activity, like I wasn't burnt out or anything. It was just I was not feeling it that day. So instead, I went for a long hike. I took my bow staff with me and I was just spinning it around, doing whatever. On those days, I try to get more creative with my workouts and I try to figure out, okay, if I don't feel like doing a strength workout, will I feel like doing a cardio workout, which all of you are probably laughing at because who wants to do cardio? But yeah, maybe it's just that you need to switch up your routine. Maybe you're just tired of it. I'll add in yoga on certain days. If I need an extra rest day, I'll take it. But uh, if not, then I'll just switch things up, make some crazy workout that will make me want to work out and have fun or just do like a 15 minute workout for the day. Again, working out is not supposed to be torturous. It's not supposed to be something that you dread all the time. At first, when you first get started, yeah, that might be the case, but hopefully not when you start to feel stronger and more awesome. And then her second question is, what is your activity level on a rest day? Do you take deload weeks? So I've never actually taken a deload week. There have been weeks where 
I, I guess I don't really plan it to be honest. If I need a week where I like chill out or if I go on vacation, then I take advantage of that time and I just rest. And it's totally okay. That's what my body needs sometimes. I've gotten to the point where I've broken my body down where I'm just like in pain all the time no matter what activity I do and I can't sleep and etc. So that's overtraining. Again, it's all about listening to your body. But as for the activity on my rest day, yeah, I'll do like yoga if I feel like it or or I might not do anything at all, or I might go for a long walk or something like that. Stay active in other ways that I don't realize that I'm actually being active, which is really nice. Going out with friends, doing some archery, going to somewhere where it requires a lot of walking, something like that. But yeah, I just, I just rest if I need a rest. Next question is from Isai, who I actually know in person, which is very exciting. He took my boot camp, so hi Isai. What's my go-to breakfast when I'm in a hurry? I always keep um, bananas in the fridge because I really like them cold because it tastes more like a dessert. I'll take that and I'll put some peanut butter and jelly on it. That's legit it. It's really nice because it's filling from the peanut butter. Uh, there's a little bit of protein in there, but there's a good amount of carbs and quick sugars um, from the banana and from the jam to get me going through my day. And then he also asked what my favorite Pokemon is. My favorite Pokemon is Raikou. So I consider him a legendary dog, not a legendary cat. I know there's just some discrepancies in that, but whatever. He's a dog and I love him and he's super cool. And I had so much fun trying to catch him in the games. Cause it's like, ah, he's over here. Just kidding, bye. And you're like, okay, bye. I'll check my map to see where you are this time. Like it was, it was just so much fun. And that was probably one of the most cherished memories I've ever had in my childhood. Next question is from Marcel Gardner. All right, so not a health question. Do you play video games? And if so, what is, what was your favorite system and favorite video game? Arr, okay, I love this question. Um, yes, I do play video games. Uh, my favorite video game of all time is Chrono Trigger. So Super NES is definitely my favorite video game system. Secret of Mana, Secret of Evermore, all the original Final Fantasies, Legend of Zelda, this Breath of Fire. It's all so good and I love them and they have a really big place in my heart. So yeah, I'm a super, super old school nerd. Next up, Tsvetlina Aralova. It's such a pretty name and I just slaughtered it, I'm sorry. But her question is, will you still post weekly workouts? The answer is yes, definitely. I will post every Monday. Um, there has been that last, last Monday that I did not, um, just things in life Happen, but I always do plan to post every Monday. Yes, there will be more barbell workouts. There's gonna be more everything. And then she also wants to hear about my eating disorders and relationship with food and stuff. And I'm going to make an entire different video for that one. So that way we can focus really on answering all of your questions. Uh, you guys can share your stories with me too, because I know that it really helped me when I talked with my sister about it. But yeah, that'll be for a different video and stuff. So I hope you guys are okay with waiting for that. In the meantime though, you can always ask a specific question down below and I can answer that in the comments or the next video. Okay, so next question is from Amy, I'm so Asian. Next question is from Amy Van Epps. What is the best approach to lose stubborn muffin top fat, particularly in the lower back area? Aside from better eating habits, should I focus on HIIT cardio or lifting for my back? So for anything you really can't spot reduce, you can build the muscle underneath. So that's gonna fill out that area nice, like better. Of course, it's gonna be staying into your caloric, um, bank, as I call it, caloric bank. And as for exercise, I do highly recommend strength training. That is gonna be huge, it's gonna be helping you to build muscle, and if you wanna see that muscle, cardio is gonna help you uh, because it's gonna burn the extra calories so you can burn the extra fat. They all have their place, and it's really gonna boil down to what keeps you motivated, what makes you work the hardest um, to see the results that you wanna see. As long as you enjoy it, make sure you enjoy the exercise. And remember, it's going to take time. So be patient, keep going, and I highly recommend staying away from the scale because it does not measure body composition, also known as the ratio of body fat, muscles, etc. I stopped weighing myself and it was one of the best decisions I've ever made. I can have pizza now without guilt, it's wonderful. Also, for your eating habits, make sure you're getting enough protein in. If you don't get enough protein in, you're not gonna be able to build the muscle that you want to be building. Another thing is to make sure you wear the clothes that fit you because you might not actually have a muffin top 
in certain clothing as long as they fit you better. So make sure you have the right size clothing that fits best for you right now. Um, a lot of the time people, you know, they buy uh, clothing that is a size lower or they just like have old clothing that they hold on to that they don't fit in anymore. But wear the clothes that make you feel good now and they make you feel happy. And that's what matters the most right now. So do that. Rawr. Okay, so the next question is from Aesthetic Star. A few years ago, I started using my Fitness Pal, which cut my calorie intake to 1200 calories. I was obsessively exercising two hours or more a day. I lost weight really well for a while, then gained, then lost, and then gained back 20 pounds or so over the last two years. I'm sure I've got some metabolic damage from it, but I figured it should be healed by now. I still work out four days a week. I did stop doing hard workouts for quite a while and ate more, but it seems like I can't shake the 20 pounds. Even though it doesn't seem to drag me down during my workouts or make me feel overly heavy or out of shape, but it seems like a lot of the weight is in a troublesome tummy hip region. First of all, amazing job on stopping the over-exercising and obsessing over that. That is very hard to get over. It's very hard to stop. You feel fidgety and everything like that. I've been there. So awesome job on that. And then second of all, with losing exactly 20 pounds make you feel better? Like would you still have the energy that you have to do the things that you love to do? That's gonna be an important question to ask yourself first. Um, do you have to lose 20? Like can it be maybe like five or 10 to make you feel a little bit, you know, like lighter and stuff? It's gonna take a while for your metabolism to get back to normal. It really took a while for me, it took a while for my digestive system, for my menstrual cycle, everything to get better after having an eating disorder. What I highly recommend doing though is get into strength training and heavy lifting. You know, it doesn't have to be like, like you might have seen me do like 300 pound deadlift or something like that. It doesn't have to be like that heavy or anything, um, but heavy enough to challenge you within like the eight to 12 rep range. With adding a lot more, you know, like strength training or even just like the strength training in my workouts, like that's good. Um, that's gonna help you build the muscle and even at a higher weight, you might look leaner. Make sure you don't consider the scale too much. Even though you're 20 pounds heavier than you wanna be, you might actually be an awesome size for you, um, but you might not be seeing it because the scale is making you see your body differently than it is. It's making you feel a little bit different. Maybe not though, you know? But yeah, that seems like for like the tummy and the hip region, for girls especially, it's usually where we store our fat. Like that's, that's how we got screwed over. So there's that. And make sure you get enough protein uh, in your diet. So build that muscle and don't think about the scale because it's dumb. It's so dumb. I hope that helps. Next question is from Araceli, I think. I think that's how you pronounce it. What has worked for you personally to motivate yourself to work out when you don't want to? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Blah. This was actually very recently, this happened to me. I posted it on my Instagram story, a picture, or a boomerang of me being there. I don't wanna work out today, it happens to me too. I actually only did 15 minutes of stretching slash yoga, and that's it. Some days you don't want to, and if you look throughout your week, if you're like, okay, I actually, you know, I did do a lot this week. I slayed my other workouts and if you need that extra rest, like I said before, I take it. It's really gonna be either about um, pushing yourself to do a more creative workout that you've never done before. Like look on YouTube, like yeah, I love you doing my workouts, but if another type of workout is gonna motivate you to move, then I want you to do that one, you know? Like as much as I love you guys, I also want you to push it and go towards your goals. Push towards your goals, that's what I was trying to say. Think outside of your workout box. Think out of, get out. Okay, next question is from the reader book, who is also Rachel, who I met recently on the interwebs. Um, yeah, fe always feel free to tell me your guys' names, always I feel si silly being like, thanks so much, XY2953, I feel like I'm in Star Trek feel free to tell me your name. So I like have a running list of your guys' names so I remember them because I appreciate you guys. What is the reason for doing push-ups with your elbows tucked in as opposed to elbows going out instead? So 
when you are doing the elbows in, you're working more of your triceps. Ah. Another thing to consider is that the wider version is going to get more of your outer chest, and then the inner is gonna get more of the inner part of your chest. Goals. Next question is from Paula B and then she asked if I was related to Mike Donovic from YouTube and she says that she thinks we look like brother and sister and that's awesome but I'm not though it would be really cool because he's awesome and I would love to meet him one day so you guys should get me an in on that. Hi Mike. Hello. We should work out together sometime. Love cat. Bye. All right next question is from Angela Bolton. How old am I? I'm 27. Yay, it was my golden birthday. When is your birthday? So, September 27th. Yes. And then she says, she's skinny fat and she's trying to tone and grow muscle ASAP. So any tips would be appreciated. Okay, so for growing muscle, it's not gonna come ASAP. Um, honestly, just take your time with the process. Enjoy the process. You wanna lift heavy, yes, but you wanna have good form and you don't necessarily need to lift like, lift, like super heavy or anything. Increase your weight slowly. Again, listen to your body, and then you're gonna wanna make sure you get your protein in. Getting that protein in is gonna be super important for building that muscle. Don't be afraid of carbs and fats. Uh, carbs are gonna be amazing. It's giving you the energy. It's your body's preferred source of energy. The fats are amazing for cellular function, amazing for your brain. So you wanna make sure you're getting all of those macronutrients, and I'm not saying like, oh, you need to track macros or anything. Um, but definitely be more conscious of the types of foods that you're eating and how they're gonna benefit your body um, towards your goals. Again, enjoy the process. It's gonna take time and that's gonna be really fun. So make sure you take progress pictures so you actually see, hey, I am growing muscle, this is awesome. And avoid the scale because the scale is gonna be like, you weigh heavier. And you're like, <laughs> but I have this bicep and then everyone's gonna be like, you look great. And you're like, the scale said I went heavier. It's awful, so forget that. But yeah, take your time. Next question is from Built on Struggle One. They asked, uh, what did you do as a job before you left? I worked at a gym, so I was a personal trainer and a boot camp, boot camp instructor. And then if you didn't see my Q&A before, I left because I asked for a raise after two years and I got denied. And I'm like, okay, there's no growth here. So I was pretty upset about that because I loved my clients. Um, I loved teaching there. I was just burnt out from a lot of boot camps too, to be honest. Like it's a lot of work, it's a lot of energy. So if you go to boot camps, make sure you give that instructor a pat on the back. But yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. Are you traveling around with your friend to conventions? Yes, I am traveling with my friend. He sells his art at anime conventions. So I'm just gonna be behind the booth, helping him out here and there. Um, and then I get to travel with him. So it is a great benefit to help him on his journey while I go on mine. If you wanna follow him, he's at Von Art on Instagram. He just hit 100K. Uh, followers, so I'm like super proud of him. I've known him since I was three years old. We've been best friends So I am very excited if you guys are going to anime conventions Let me know which ones you're going to so maybe we can meet up or something. That'll be amazing next up a barista teacher Asked when do I work out and how often I work out usually in the morning because by the end of the day I'm like I love being a vegetable. I love Netflix. Netflix is great. Oh, I should read a book right now. Hey, I'm gonna sit and look at all these YouTube videos. Activity is not gonna happen. And then how often do I work out? It really depends on the week. Some weeks I take two rest days. Sometimes I take one, sometimes I take none. Um, so it's gonna depend on my body. I'm a little bit more trained, so I can work out six days, seven days a week sometimes, but I do realize that I need to take a lower impact day here and there. I've been doing a lot of hiking lately instead of being like, I'm gonna string train. It's, it's literally like, I'm gonna walk and look at these butterflies. It's fantastic. Do you have cheat meals or cheat days? Yes. Yes, I do, and I don't plan them anymore. Before, I used to like track my macros and stuff, and I was so obsessive over it, and I would lead me to binging and restricting, and it was just awful, so I, finally realized that it's not for me. It's it's really not, and that's okay. Um, so for cheat days and cheat meals, honestly, I just have them when I have them. Like tonight I'm gonna have um, pizza, and it's gonna be amazing. I already had pizza on Wednesday, but 
I feel like with this way, with not tracking and stuff and just knowing my body and listening to it, I don't eat as much as I would as if I were to track it because I don't feel guilty about it anymore. I have them, I've been eating donuts here and there. It's just, it's really wonderful. I maintaining muscle and just having fun. I'm living life, guys. You get, you need to live, live, live life. Live life a little bit. Have some pizza and donuts sometimes. Next question that they have is, how do you keep a work-life balance? To be completely honest, I am trying to find that balance now. Since quitting and stuff, I'm trying to find that balance with um, spending time with my boyfriend even because it's really hard. Um, you know, I used to see him at work all the time. That's where we met and now we don't. I actually had a breakdown recently about that. I'm like, I never see you. And by recently, I mean that was last night. Yeah. <laughs> I will get back to you on that. that that's a work in progress. Work-life balance is definitely a work in progress right now. Okay, we are almost done. Eunice Martinez asks, she wants to know my background in my life. I'm not sure how to start in this. Well, I started from the womb. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, background. I don't know if that means ethnic background, but if it does, I am half Filipino and half Polish. Yes. All right, that's it. Um, again, I really appreciate you guys with all of your comments on all of my videos and stuff. I love it. I love responding to you guys. I always try to message or write back to every single one of you. I think I'm, I've actually pretty much done that unless you insult me, then I just ignore you. Go ahead and leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought about this vlog. If it's too long, if you're like cat, just blah, 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 blah. I do want to know what you guys think. And if you have any follow-up questions, go ahead, ask below. And if you have any suggestions for vlogs you want to see in the future and stuff, I definitely know that I will be doing like a how-to with my makeup because I got actually a few requests of people being like, I want to know how you do your eyeliner. And I'm like, oh, thanks guys. And then I'll also be vlogging, you know, like anime conventions, what I'm going to be doing, what I eat in a day. I know you guys really like those. Um, no, so that's, yeah. Thank you so much. I love you guys, and I will see you soon. Okay. Rawr. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Supreme. 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 <laughs> He's trying it already. <laughs> you ruined the taste test. Oh, uh, what did you try? I tried the Italian one. The Sicilian screaming mustache one. That one. Yep. Okay. Mustache. Should we give her a grade? Zero to ten. Mm-hmm. Mmm, all right. Oh, really good. Eight. Eight? I'll get eight point five. Just to be different. Typical. <laughs> to short all time. Yeah. Is this, is this how it works? Yeah, look at that. That's pretty good. Now I'm really a vlogger, because I can focus. Mmm. Oh my! <laughs> oh my! Nine mm -hmm. point two. That's so good. Mm. Nine point three. Nine point three. What would you give a home run? Pizza? Ten. No. Ten. No. It's Ten. Nine. Ten. It's not that good. Let's see. Two. 8.4. 8.4 <laughs> dropped. Mm, that's better than home run. <laughs> oh my god! I'm not angry. I got it. Yeah. Happy. Happy plus. Alright, so my plate. This is his plate. And folks, yep. My plate. I'll probably have more later. I don't know. I'm gonna eat it all. He's gonna eat it all. Alright. Roar! Roar! Uh, eat pizza. Not fat. You can have pizza sometimes. So treat yourself. Treat yourself and there's a kitty cat. Thank you. Hello. Oh my goodness. Oh yes. <laughs>